My rosin has not been working. I think I need a little bit of that Texas sizzle. Pops, we got to get some. It's hard to find the sticky stuff. What's going on? It's Jason Heath. I've been using a ton of different rosins recently. I will link up to them here, but I feel like I gotta go back to my one true love, the rosin I used for so long. Pops! I haven't ordered Pops base rosin the way most people do recently, so let's hop on the computer and give it a shot. Okay, let's order some Pops base rosin, and believe it or not, I have never ordered from the base rosin store, which is the home online of Pops. I've always found it a bit mysterious, baserosin.com, but only Pops. Oh, supply is limited. Yay, place the order. Pops! Okay, the rosin's here. That was actually much quicker than they said on the website. I think it was only like a couple days. So here it is from the base rosin store. Pops base rosin, my good friend Pops. I have not used you in so long. Let's open it up. That fresh rosin smell. That fresh rosin cake. Look at that stuff. That sticky, beautiful Pops. Oh, can't wait to put it on my bow. It's in the red container. My rosin's been okay recently, but I find that I have to put it on free frequently during rehearsals and it's been getting colder here in San Francisco and so I thought we got to get that pops back on the bow so let's check it out. I like to start from one corner and just get it going a little bit. Oh, that pop sound. Look at that fresh edge just waiting to get applied and look out rosin chunks. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so with pops you get a few of these little chunkies in the bow hair and that causes what a lot of us like to call affectionately Texas sizzle. So, ooh, pops, pops everywhere. <laughs> this stuff will fall in my sandals and create these little glue spots which are annoying but kind of make me laugh. And let's see what we got now. Oh, oh, pops, oh, okay. There are a lot of different good rosins out there, like I said, but there is something about the immediacy of pops and the response that I just love. It is, it resonates with the way that I play and I just want my string to speak like that and I, I have been missing this feel, folks. I always like to joke that pops articulates the way the word sounds, pops. And a lot of other rosins have a little bit more of a mellow beginning, which is cool. And again, there are different styles and different tastes for everybody, but there is something to be said for this. Pops, grab. You gotta be careful not to put too much on or you'll get that Texas sizzle like I talked about, which is kind of a joke, but kind of not. It's that sort of bees buzzing sound. And there's a great product out there. I think it's out there still. There used to be an advertiser called Rosin Saver. I will link up to that. It's essentially, there's an airtight Tupperware container that is great for preserving your pops. I find that with pops, I get the string going and then it's like the string's spinning and my bow is just skating along the string. So I actually feel like I need to put less weight into the string with pops, which is interesting. I feel, and that's part of why I ordered this recently, I feel like I've been forcing my sound a little bit too much, particularly as it gets cold here in San Francisco and I'm in cold, we don't really get cold <laughs> like a lot of places, but we are colder than normal. And I was noticing a little bit more dustiness from my rosin and a little bit more slipperiness and having to put it on again and again throughout my practice session or rehearsal. So this pop is going to last me the rest of the day, just that one swipe typically. And your rosin will dry out if you leave it out. I shouldn't even leave it out right now like this. I'm pretty neurotic about things like rosin drying out. So that rosin saver is a great option or just putting it back in the case when you're done is a good option. Thanks for watching. I'll link up to more on rosin here. Deep in the heart of Texas, you'll find the best of America, the sticky icky known as Pops Base Rosin. Coming from Houston, Texas, best city on earth, the sticky icky has been coming to base bows for generations. Is it hard to get sometimes? Yes. Is it worth the wait? Absolutely. Because this is Pops Base Rosin 
This is Texas. This is America. Pops, we got to get some. It's hard to find the sticky stuff. But Pops, it's in the red container with the stuff that we need. Yes, Pops, we've got to find it. It's very hard. So we go to the base resin store and Pops, we've got to put it on. We are addicted to the stuff.